outer Mongolia. We left Ulan Bator um, three days ago in the evening. And the sun's rising on what I would call day one proper of my hunt here. We all were going to stay in the hut last night, but homeboys like to party. Vodka and convo till about 1am and I was like, oh, fuck it, I need to sleep, I'm going to the car, we're going to get up at 4. And so I had night number 2 in the mighty purple breeze. Well, <clears throat> it's now 8am. As you can see, it's really quiet here. The horses are, st <laughs> horses are still yet to arrive. <laughs> and um, everyone still appears to be pretty well proper fucked from all the vodka last night. There is, however, some giant birds flying around and stuff, and it's pretty cool. Yeah. Nearly nine. Got a bit of Mongolian hip-hop going on. Got some saddles out. So I'm hopeful there'll be some horses on the horizon soon. So we found the horses this morning and just found out that the reason we didn't head off first thing in the morning is because they couldn't find all the horses. There's a lot of horses. So now I guess we're just going to run them back and catch a couple and ride them. So we need to stop these ones. Whew, looks like we finally got them going <clears throat> in the right direction again. Up, up. Ooh, pretty ponies. Hello ponies. Oh my god, they're fucking gorgeous. Honestly, if you're a horse person, you just gotta fucking see these animals. They are incredible. True wild horses, and apparently we're just gonna ride them into the forest 50Ks today. <coughs> It would appear our horses have arrived. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Gorgeous, <laughs> <laughs> Well, a very important lesson in this for you hipsters out there. I guess the only time it's acceptable to have a beard and wear skinny jeans is 
when you're about to go and hunt uh, wolves in Mongolia with an AK-47 while drinking vodka, riding a completely wild Mongolian pony. Yeah. I'm apprehensive. Just don't know why it took me so long to bloody get it. Alright, start it. Alright, so are we heading back over? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Chu. Chu. Say chu, man. Chu. Chu. Yeah. Chu. Yeah. Chu. Chu. Well, so far so good. Yeah. Haven't fallen off. No problems. Actually, beautiful, beautiful horses to ride. Um, the saddle's awesome. Um, it's got a lovely half halt, leg yields, just rides like a horse basically. Amazingly beautiful, gentle trot. Um, so just no dramas there. Just awesome horses to ride. Um, and yeah, no, no problems. I guess I'd better thank Buddy Tracy, my riding instructor, for all her support. And, yeah, going good. No dramas. Heading into the hills. Just, uh, riding a Mongolian pony through a herd of yaks. No biggie. No biggie. First vodka break, eh? We're about Excellent. <laughs> That's stuff over there is 96.5% proof. Just moving up a valley and dropping over through a saddle by the looks of it. <coughs> but these forested areas are really good. There's, there's so much talk about bears. Over the last three hours, I'm pretty much expecting to get attacked by a bear at any moment out of the brush. Hopefully the camera will be rolling. Hopefully. I'll do my best, team. If I'm going out, I'm going out rolling. Over the night, on the riverbank. Climbing up to look for deer. Climbing up to last this next basin. And I tell you what, I'm really glad the horse did the work coming up there. Because that is deep. Um, I'm, I'm in the wilderness, some 50 k's from the end of the road, and it feels like it. I'm just riding a horse along a mountain, no biggie. Right, so just come about 15 k's on the horses, not quite all the way we're going. We stopped here for the night and we went and glassed the, the deer up on the, on the hill there for quite a while. Just as the sun was setting, saw a wolf. Holy fuck, they are, they're as big as fuck. Um, they look about the size of a fallow deer. Pure slate grey and just running the whole time, like just possessed. So I saw it about 500 metres away. There is no way in hell I could have hit that thing. I saw it again for just about three seconds. I saw it again for about one second at 300 metres, and then it did a right angle turn and went up into the bush. And I was going through the bush, and it's just I can see like five metres. Didn't really want to run into a giant. <coughs> Grey wolf in the um, in the bush there, but pretty good sign. Um, I don't know how many deer I shot, thousands, but yeah, you see a wolf, that's something different. 